In this measurement setup, we see two sensors mounted on this bridge. This bridge one edge is controlled by a stepper motor in the up and down direction. On this cantilever, there are two sensors which are identical in terms of fabrication. Sensor number 3 and sensor number 6. Sensor number 3 is the actual sensor that we would like to measure and sensor number 6 is used to compensate. With each step the data is recorded simultaneously by the two multimeters attached to two sensors. The tip of the cantilever is pushed up with 5 microns of resolution and this creates a strain on the cantilever. Both of these sensors are previously measured and their response to strain is known. The output of sensor number 6 is adjusted and subtracted from the output of sensor number 3 in order to zero it. Because they are both measured simultaneously and one measurement, which is sensor number 6, actually gives the value of strain. Here the measurement is done and now the stage is coming back to its home position. Here we can enter the values of how fast we would like to do the measurement and the amount of strain that we would like to apply. The data acquisition card is receiving the commands through LabVIEW program from the laptop computer. The data acquisition card is controlling the data acquisition board and here in this case we are controlling the digital outputs. We are basically controlling the four digital outputs which are enough to control this bipolar stepper motor. The power required for the stepper motor is provided by this chip which has got dual H bridges, it is L298, which can provide enough current for each coil of the stepper motor. This dual voltage source provides power for the stepper motor of coils and also for the logic, and the source meter provides power for the sensors.